Oh, there's a fish looking. Yeah. Oh, trout. Oh, come on. Oh, no. He's looking at it. Good trout. Come on. Oh, no. Don't eat it. Not you. Oh, there's so many fish. Good trout. All right. Another day. Uh, dropped off on another island. Gonna go back to the spot where I caught the tusk fish and go around the corner a bit further. We've got some better weather and now tide's coming in. Gonna fish it on a different tide, fish around the corner a bit further. So should be pretty good. The boys came with us because it's quite windy. So we'll have everyone here doing a bit of diving, bit of fishing, mucking around, having some fun. So nah, it should be, should be a good day. Interesting to try the trout hole that we found on a high tide. I reckon there's going to be a big trout in there So we're going to give that a shot and hopefully we can pull one out of there big land based trout still on the to-do list So we're gonna work hard to try and tick that one off Let's get stuck into it We've just walked up to where Josh got his trout the other day On the high tide it looks like a completely different place Looks much much better Lots of water pumping through, lots of rocks in that there. We'll uh, throw some big lures around and see what comes out of it. Lots of water moving through. Jeez. Oh, long time. Got excited. GT or a trout just came out of that and smashed my lure. Big GT or a trout just had a go. Come on. In that hole there. Oh, big hit. Come on. Oh, and again. Come on, come on. Oh, you Chasing it. What is it? Oh, it's a G. It's a G. Come on. Oh, Lua got tangled. Oh, look at them all. There's heaps cruising through. Far out. Oh, look at them down there. Look at them. There's a massive school of them. Okay, this is crazy. Yeah, he's still there. Oh, he's going for yours, Josh! Pause it! Yeah. Rip it out, my Lewis here. He's looking at it. Yeah, yeah, that's the G. Oh, he's not gonna eat it. He's not like quiet up enough now. He's looking at it. How's the tusky? That just went back under this ledge here. He's looking at it. <laughs> Teasing us like that. Oh, the G's are over there. Oh, he's cruising through! I oh, know, you asshole! Oh, that's a better one. Oh, he's following it from a distance. That is unreal. Big GT. Just cruising around, far out. He like swims up to my bait, circles around it, and then f off. Scaring everything else away from it so that I won't touch it. He keeps going for it. He's fired him up now. Oh, I don't know whether that's a big cod. Is that a big cod? Or a shark? Gee, he's going for it. There was a big black shape that went that way. I'm pretty sure it was a cod. He's looking at it. Oh, there's another one. There's two there. Yeah, 
yes, yes, yes. Yes! Yes! Got him! Yes. GT! GT! Yes! Stay up here! One's all right, one'll be all right because I'll get him to you. Hey. Yeah! He <sighs> was teasing me for too long. <laughs> yeah! Not a big fish, but I got the GT. And on relatively light like, gear. Yeah. The hook went on the uh, net, I was like, I've got to get it now. <laughs> Finally got this GT, he's been hanging around, wouldn't take any lures. I caught a little fish and he started smashing it. So I chucked the fish back out as a live bait and uh, finally got him. He's been stirring us up for ages, but good to see him. We'll chuck him back now and get him on his way. Okay, see ya buddy. Off he cruises. Woo. Just Moving spots now, we're gonna go for a walk down the island. We're on the top of one of the biggest islands here and uh, trying to put it into perspective how big this place actually is. It is insane. As the boys walking back to the boat there, they're gonna go for a dive and pick us up on the next beach south on this island. So we've got about a K, K and a half to walk down to that and we're gonna go and explore some ledges on the way down there. Should be good. Walk along the top of the cliffs here. Ooh. It's a bit scary, I'm not going to go too much closer than that. Big sea eagle's nest just perched on the side of the cliff. What a view for the sea eagles. Far out. Look at the current that's pushing along that edge there. Nice looking low ledge there around the corner. Yeah, that's worth a cast for sure. Those overhangs and those rocks there, man. We might be able to pull a trout out of that. It should only be a couple of casts if we see a trout. The one we wanted to fish, we couldn't get down onto, it's all cliffs. But uh, this here has got some nice overhangs up at this point here, looks really good. We'll give it a few casts, we're just gonna keep hopping down spots, spend 10 minutes or so at each one, move down and just keep doing that all afternoon. And we'll meet the boys down on another beach a couple of K south. Oh, this is really sharp, these rocks. Uh, not pretty, don't wanna fall over. But that looks pretty good. Yeah, that little beach there. Uh, we'll give this a few casts, see how we go. Something just ate this on top of that rock. Josh, Josh, come here. What have I got? There's a trout following it, quick. There's a Chinaman and a trout. There's a heap of fish following him. And a tusky there having a go too. Big emperor, red throat I think these are. It's cool fish. Oh, Spangos! Oh! Heap of Spangos! Jesus! Big fish down the bottom of this edge here. Drag my lure past it. We'll see if one will come up. Oh, there's a fish looking. Yeah! Oh, trout! Oh, come on! Oh no! He's looking at it! Good trout! Come on! Oh no, don't eat it, not you! Oh, there's so many fish! The trout's looking at it again! Oh, there's... What the hell? There is so many fish there! Oh, is that a GT? It's 
it's a GT out there, I think, or a shark. Doesn't look like a shark. It doesn't have a tall fin. Might be a cobia. Oh, there's two of them. I think they're cobia. Another spot that looks pretty good. Just working away along this edge here, trying to find. Oh, there's lots of current there. That next point is what's got me excited for GTs. A couple of hundred meters up, but I'm trying all these little rocky outcrops like this. Some smaller lures. Oh, fish chasing. I'm trying to get some trout. Still got to get a big land-based trout, and these broken bombies like that look awesome for it. Oh, the current running through there. Jeez. Huh. Turtle tracks all over this beach. Trying to find a, a nice place to bury their eggs. Doesn't look like they've found any. Cruised on and off the beach. There's a nest. There's another. Another, another. Oh, there's a little wallaby. Let him go. In a hurry. There is a heap of nests here. Okay. No turtles though. But lots of nests. Let's get off this beach and we'll leave it alone. Here's our beach pickup. I got the boat. I'll just hold it in that deeper. Under the nose of the boat, having fun. Hey mate, he's cruising. Done myself a bit of a mischief today. Um, I was jumping in trying to shoot something for dinner. Came across this big mangrove jack hiding under this rock. Didn't have a wetsuit or anything on. Literally just my mask and snorkel and my fins and my spear gun. And uh, I've chased him into a cave. And the cave fought back. All the oysters on the roof of the cave have ended up cutting my leg a bit, so I think I'm gonna have to stay out of the water for a couple of days, let that try and dry up so it doesn't get infected. Last thing I want is for to get infected this far from from help out here. So especially with only one boat going. Nah. Stay out of the water for a couple of days. Stick to stick to the rocks I think and uh, see if we can get some more big fish in it over the next few days. End of another day out here at the Montes. We uh, had a wicked day today. Um, I got a good GT. Uh, Josh missed a big GT. Had a few Tuskies come up and have a look. Seen a lot of big GTs. Um, missed a few coral trout. Missed a lot of fish, it seems to be the way it's going at the moment. But uh, no, I got a big cod. Good GT, pretty good day off the rocks inside the islands. I'm just walking back to camp, trying to navigate the low tide without getting my boots completely soaked. But uh, yeah, it's crazy that the tide's up here. This bay that I'm in right now is our camp. And uh, on high tide, water's over my head height. Right now I'm wandering around and I don't know if you can see, but there is no water in this bay and our camp's up there into this. There's the other boat up there, completely in the dry. This bay is completely empty. Nah, all in all, end to another good day. I'm gonna be, uh, won't be fishing tonight. Take it easy. I think we'll have a bit of a sleep in tomorrow and then reassess figure out a new plan, try and find something a bit different to do because the GTs are getting quite frustrating and uh, yeah, see how we go.